hello guys what's up in this video we will go over four tricks uh, to use f string more efficiently okay so what is f string what is f string okay f string oh uh, f string f string basically stands for formatted string literals okay which are highly practical method for string interpolation they use curly braces they use curly braces uh, for history uh, variable placeholders okay uh, let's uh, uh, start with a simple example to demonstrate demonstrate uh, how f string work okay like we create a variable age uh, this is gonna be 25 then we'll create print okay print f stands for f string here okay now i will say like um John, John is age in pass the variable in this curly braces, then years old. Okay, so if we run this file, okay, I will get CD. Um, I think three demo dot okay so here we see that john is 25 years old so this is how f string works okay now i will show you the number one trick or the first trick okay which is uh, format thing large number using f string okay when working with a large numbers, it is better to use thousand separators uh, better read for better readability. F string make it quite simple to place uh, these separators uh, appropriately. Okay, here is how it looks uh, without uh, on the thousand separators. Okay, now I will show you this. Okay, if the number is like one two three four five six seven eight nine just for a simple demo then we if we pass print then f for f string uh, the value the value of the company company is then we will pass our variable is number okay if we run this this is what it look like okay so there is no separator or thousand separators okay now let's place the separators and see the difference okay if we'll just uh, edit this code then it will be okay d which means they separate by uh, commas okay here we see that if we zoom this we see that here is the separator comes and this is how it look like so and uh, we format a large number using f string okay now the second one okay second one is um formatting oh sorry uh, second one yeah, oh, formatting okay formatting dates formatting dates okay so there are various ways to represent dates in our scripts okay it depends on the geographical location or uh, just your preference uh, we can place uh, dates in f string without formatting just like any other variable okay so first i will show you that like first we have to import from uh, date time import sorry import date time okay then uh, if we say today then date time date time dot uh, today today dot date okay which will uh, fetch the current date uh, in this today variable then if we print this print um, f for f string uh, today today is today is um today okay we pass this variable 
then if we run this okay let's comment out this if we run this okay so today is uh, to us 11 july of 2021 okay the following might be better representation in some cases okay uh, now let's see how can we just uh, format dates using f string more efficiently okay like i have to just pass today percent b okay percent b percent d and percent y percent y okay then it will show us in different format okay today is july 20, 11 2021 it is much more readable format over here uh, it should be a comma okay then if we pass uh, again okay today is uh, july 11 2021 so it is very um, easy to read if you live in a country where the month is written before the day you can use the following command okay um, i will show you now today is just for replace this today is um month then date which will represent date and the y okay which basically returns the previous output okay today is uh, 7 11 and 2021 okay now we'll show another format another trick which is uh, paired numbers paired numbers okay paired numbers in some cases numbers are written with leading zeros in order to have the same number to digits for all numbers okay typical use cases might be product numbers or um, yeah, you can say id numbers we can place any numbers of leading zeros for a variable in f string uh, more like a equals uh, 5 then uh, b equals uh, 1 2 3 okay then if we print f okay uh, product product uh, number r okay uh, slash n for new line and a colon uh, a colon zero three which add the leading zero okay then again and b um zero three okay mm -hmm. if we just run this okay then it will show us leading two zeros for a equals five okay it just balances or indents correctly b03 indicates that there will be a total number of three digits and leading spaces will be padded with zero okay in case of one digit number we have two leading zeros if it was like uh, b equals uh, 0 4 and a equals uh, 0 4 then um, python 3 sorry for city okay then now we can run this python 3 demo dot pi okay so we declared pad okay zero four so leading uh four digit will be zeros here so five is one digit and other three digit will padded with zeros okay so one two three it is three digit and uh, three digit number and it it is just padded with uh leading one zero okay we can also use uh, we can also use like uh, expressions using f strings the f strings also allow uh, for using expression in variable placeholders okay these expressions can in involve function execution 
uh, it is handy feature because we don't need to create variables for uh, values that are used only once and uh, this is quite difficult also um, but if we use a string it can be easy to understand okay so let's try so what we will be doing uh, writing expression writing expression expression using f string okay writing expression using f string so now let's again we'll import from date time import date time and time delta and time delta okay now if we same again today equals uh, date time date time okay dot today dot date now if we print this print a string if we print this uh, the test was three days ago which is uh, if we say the test was three days ago okay uh, which is which is uh, today minus today minus time delta time delta um, time delta days time delta days equals three okay days equals three okay so if we run this then it will show us that the test was three days ago which is 2021 7 july uh, 7 uh, july of uh, 88 july of 7 okay today's date is 11 july and three days ago uh, or back date was uh, 8 july okay another example can be finding the number of items in a list and using it as a variable okay uh, we can also do this by just creating like uh, my list my list equals um, we are passing one two three four five for simple cases then we also print uh, f print f then the list li the list contains uh, contains uh, if we pay press this contains len okay uh, len my list then my list uh, and then we press items okay now if we run this just comment out this now if we run this okay the list contains five items okay here we can see that that list is also contain five items uh, so this is the four tricks uh, we can use in using f strings okay this is the four tricks